Hello guys, Pablo here. In this lesson we are going to learn how to create a first bundle using the command line. A bundle in Symfony is a plugin, it's a module of code that can be easily reused in different applications. Everything in Symfony is based on uh, bundles, even the framework itself is like a plugin within your project. In order to see what commands are available in our command tool, I'm going to type php app console and see that I'm located in the root folder of my Symfony project. If everything that I type throughout these lessons is going to be thought for Unix based systems. So if you're using Windows, you need to adapt these instructions accordingly. This shows me the available commands. I have commands that help me um, deal with project assets such as CSS files, JavaScript files. Um, I can clear the cage using the command line. Then there's a group of commands that relate to Doctrine, the ORM that we'll be using um, to work with our database. You can even create the database using command line. You can, you can generate different um, entities and a whole bunch of other things. And you can also generate create code. You can generate a new bundle, create a new controller, create a, a CRUD. This stands for create, read, update and delete. So basically you create a group of pages where you have a listing of elements and the pages to create new elements and to edit those elements are automatically created for you. And then it's much easier to just go and modify those rather than creating the entire thing from scratch. The one that we'll use now is generate bundle. The first thing we need to define is the namespace of our bundle. PHP namespaces are something similar to a folder structure but within the classes that you create. So for instance, see that this has a company name and it says bundle and it has a name for the bundle. If you wanted to create a new class um, for this entity you'd need to write new and then this whole thing bracket but that's a bit long so you can set the namespace you can you can you can type use and then this part that's a, a PHP feature so that then you you can just create block uh, block bundles so the namespace is like the full name of your class and the full name here is going to be a company name or your own name and then I'm going to call it workout bundle. You don't need to have the bundle in between. I think it's a bit redundant. It's easier to do it like this. Now, the name for our bundle is going to be that same name. Target directory. I'll stick with um, Symfony's defaults. The type of configuration, it can be YML, XML, PHP or annotations. My preferred method is annotations because it allows you to have less files. Do you want to generate the whole directory structure? Yes, please. Confirm generation? Yes. Now, do we want to have an entry added to our kernel so that we register this new bundle? Yes. What about the global routing? Yes, we want to have that added as well. This has created a whole bunch of um, folders. We have a company or your name, the bundle, and each bundle has a has some typical folders, there are some others that you can add later. And this is of course just a suggestion because you could in theory use a different set of um, directories. Before going into the files, I want to show you how to create a new project in NetBeans. That's the IDE that we'll be using throughout this course. Um, you're welcome to use any other code editor or IDE that you want. Symfony has good support when it comes to Symfony, so that's what I, I like using it. Um, we go to create new project, PHP, PHP application with existing sources. We find the folder of our project, that would be Symfony course, and just press finish. We have our new project here, and let me show you some of the files we registered our new bundle inside the kernel that was done automatically you can see it here then there's the root part 
in routing.yml a new entry was created for our workout bundle and if it says if we just have the slash here it means that um, this is going to go on the root of the domain so it'll be like example.com and that then that's it that will take us to this bundle in particular but you could have you could have it so that there's a workout root and then if you type example.com slash workout then you you'll be taken to that particular um, bundle but let's leave it as a, as a root for now if you go to source Zemba workout bundle and then we open the controller we'll see that a default sort of sample controller was created um, see how the root is defined using annotations so this is what annotations are you start a comment like this with the two asterisks and then um, you specify the root which um, can have parameters as well and then those parameters you need to add also to your to your action and it says template here and it doesn't specify any template that's because a default template was created um, and that is called index so if it, if it says nothing here it means that it's an index one the default one and we're giving that template these parameters if we take a look at that template that's um, written using a twig, the templating um, language. It says hello and then it uses the double curly brackets to specify that this is a variable. Let's see how this is working in our web browser. Hello Pablo and there you go. So that's how you create a bundle and now it's time to get started with the actual code.